lads, I hope you enjoyed that little montage I just did of the 2020 month of the mic got up to now. It's pretty alright. Uh, it just showcases a few things. I didn't properly like get loads and loads of content in that. But I hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, today we're going to talk about the month of the mag 2020, all the future updates that they're talking about. I'm just going to give my opinion on some of this stuff. So skip to any of these time frames if you just want to skip to one certain thing and get on with your day. But without further ado, let's discuss some of these things. <laughs> Becca yesterday, as I was recording this, has now released a new fame rework that they're going to do in the future. They did it just as I was making this video, so I got it just in time. There's going to be new fame bonuses, it's going to go from 21 to 400 plus, which is quite insane. Some of these include complete 100 shatters, teleport 2500 times, use special ability 25,000 times, and yeah, there's so much more like 50 shatters and all that. And now instead of fame bonuses on items, you'll get XP bonuses on items, which is kind of cool, kind of needed as well. XP will now skill properly with harder content, which is also great to see. And this all happens by the end of the month. See if you have a character right now which is built for loads of fame on death, you should probably kill it now because as soon as these fame changes come in, character's pretty much useless and just wasted your time. So do that now lads, please, please, please. Also, which is great to see is that they're talking about fame purchases. I didn't really see too much on this, but that could be a thing in the future, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Some new things that Decca is talking about is high tech terror the new dungeon the f.e.r.a.l boss and the furrow boss they've done a little sneak peek i'll put up some footage now of that it's really really cool um deck is also talking about forge items so you can maybe forge uts in the future which is pretty cool in fact very cool there's going to be new fault uis and there's going to be new dungeons coming lots to look forward to in that Let you destroy my so what's new now in my opinion well, there's a bucket load of item nerfing and boss nerfing and buffing. There's way too much to list, so I'll just list the most important thing. Dark of Cronus has went up by 20 attack. So yeah, lads, if you like the burf, see Turk meme, well, there you go, lads. Up by 20 attack, it's going to be the most best item in the game. There's also going to be new exaltations. You've already seen it. It's class. You basically get increased stats if you do a high tier dungeon multiple times. For example, shatters five times will give you plus one attack and 10 times will give you plus two attack and it accumulates. So if you do 10, you'll have a total of plus three attack because plus one plus two equals three. You permanently buff the entire class for life if you complete it. If you complete enough of these tasks, so for like a certain armor type, like knights and warriors, then you get a permanent buff for all classes, which is really, really cool. Adds a whole new aspect to the game. Like if you're a high tier right now, there's now new stuff to go, new stuff to look forward to, new stuff to like they achieve in the game. But if you complete 500 total exaltations, across all classes to become a god well then you get the sexiest pet skin in the game of all time look at it it's actually lads lads if you see someone with this pet skin they are confirmed god or if you have it well you're confirmed god bro so yeah that's unreal dungeon reconstructions there's been quite a few of them abysses and new dls are extremely slick now with forest mazes and power caves and other dungeons redone as well it's all very good lads, it's all very good. He's a big boy. There will be a lot of drop rate changes. They haven't said what they're changing, like if it goes from 1% to 2%, but uh, they have done loads and loads. There's a massive list on them, which is very good. I might have to do more 100 dungeon videos to see it. And my overall opinion. Lads, I skipped over a whole lot, all right? I'm not gonna lie. This is probably only a fraction of what's new. I tried to read the 48 pages Decker gave out and then also Decker gave all the fame stuff like there's quite a lot to read and if you're interested go see it yourself but I'd say like in my opinion just play the game and see what's new I feel like that's the best way to fully experience the changes don't read about it just experience it um, I'm really happy to see Decker doing bits on the games honestly it's amazing to see that the game's becoming more alive than it's ever been before like the game's actually going to new heights right now 
I'm really excited to see the future of Rotten MG. Like, I just feel like it's going to go to new heights here. Personally, I'm working on a Discord in the background. This will have loads of like challenges and stuff. Like, it's going to be really cool. It's just for trying to get my content a bit more creative and like building a community. Because I really, I really like you lads coming in. It's amazing to see. So if we get a Discord, and I'm going to create a guild as well really soon. So be on the lookout for that. Not going to go into detail now, but there's going to be really cool things happening there. Lads, I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe like go on to my twitch even though i haven't even streamed there in like ages and yeah lads just keep care of yourself take care take care of yourself lads all right lads yeah i burned some but i still got more want to live the rest of my life on tour never want it to end on core that's right good girl speak french bonjour why you lames gonna need two chains get close for the heat when you hear blue flames